Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Saudi Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, and we hope you're staying really dry out there. Here's the news you need to know. The Minister of Justice is proposing to take Yaba, a form of crystal methamphetamine, off of the criminal narcotics list, saying measures to curb its usage have failed. Justice Minister Paibun Kumchaya says Yaba should instead be put under the normal drugs category, saying it's less harmful than alcohol and cigarettes. The minister proposed the change during a UN General Assembly special session on drugs and said Thailand has to change its approach with drugs, adapting and living with it as years of criminalization has only made matters worse. Mr. Pai Boon said Thailand's laws regarding drug offenses need to be amended to reflect any changes in drug policies. And as we speak, Department of Special Investigation officials are attempting to execute the search warrant at Wat Damakaya, the biggest Buddhist temple in Thailand, to look for embattled abbot Pradamajayo. Although the monks at Wat Damakaya are allowing authorities in, DSI officials have to literally get past tens of thousands of the abbot's followers who have gathered outside and inside the temple meditating and chanting. The DSI have one day to execute the warrant for the monk who is facing charges of money laundering and receiving stolen goods of up to 1.2 billion baht. For more on this developing story, check out the PhuketNews.com. And the Thai baht is forecasted to fall to 37 to the US dollar by the end of the year, according to Kasekorn MCM commercial banks. Analysts are blaming the potential Brexit and looming interest rate hikes in the United States for the dismal forecast of the bot. The banks say the bot could reach as low as 36 to the US dollar as early as July. And sit tight, Phuket Extra, we'll be right back after this. The newest resort on Nyang Beach, Phuket Marriott Resort and Spa, Nyang Beach, is ready to host you brilliantly. Open now. The art of hosting, where modern architecture meets authenticity of Thai hospitality. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A terrible story out of the U.S. as a family is mourning the loss of their two-year-old boy after he was dragged by an alligator into a lagoon yesterday. The incident happened just outside of a Walt Disney World hotel as both the boy and his father were in the water, though there was a sign that said no swimming. The body of the boy was found hours later in about three meters of murky water, not far from when he was first attacked. Authorities say the boy's body had a few puncture wounds, but that he likely drowned. And the uproar that followed the posting of a photo on Facebook of a Thai billionaire with a hornbill bird is causing wildlife officials to look into the matter. Billionaire Vikram Kromadit posted the photo of him and the bird at his house yesterday on a social media page, causing several to, to ask if the animal was being kept there illegally. Experts claim this hornbill is native to Western Thailand and that the man had to have a permit since it didn't just land at his house in Eastern Thailand. And finally, the hubbub over the upcoming referendum on the draft of the new Thai constitution caused an uproar outside of the election commission office yesterday. Nearly 100 members of an anti-coup group had planned a demonstration outside of the office, which was mostly going to consist of dancing and singing. But soon after, about 300 people from a group called Thai with 100% Heart showed up to protest the protests, calling on police to stop the other group's demonstrations. Eventually, the entire demonstration was called off as police tried to avoid any potential confrontation between the two groups. And that's it for all of us here at Phuket Extra today. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. When in Patong, make sure you get on top. Phuket's new world-class day-to-night entertainment experience. Check us out at Facebook, On Top Phuket. When will we see you on top?